This video is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Hi folks, we're back and it's the next video and the mid-ready psoriasis is out on my face so I'm sorry if I've got red blotches. Yeah. But in any case, what are we covering today? It's the Orchid Mantis. So we brought an Orchid Mantis today from Mantis Den and yeah, I've had off Liam before from Mantis Den, I'll pop all the links in below and yeah he's been a he's been doing it for a long time he knows his stuff and he's got some great enclosures as well he's updated his enclosures which look really, really good they look like they've been updated so it's a lot easier to build and maybe it's because he can't get out of the bolts or maybe he had issues with them coming out because i did have an enclosure what wasn't made by uh, by another company and they, to be honest they were absolutely horrific but in any case uh, not getting into that, we, we're covering the Orchid Mantis, something that needs to be covered because there's been a massive boom in these over the past couple of years and um, I can understand why because some people may be not wanting a big scary Mantis the first time because they don't like bugs as they say even though they're invert and they are really really pretty is the best way to explain and they have got a bit more needs than most of your standard basic man sees nothing massive but just things that need to be covered so let's have a little look at her first i keep saying it's here it might not be as she did malt last night so let's have a little look i get the macro lenses out and then we'll go over how to keep these in my opinion what's weird best for me Hi folks, so I hope they were good enough because she's very, very tiny. I'd say she's about an hour free now. And right, temperature wise, I keep mine about 25 degrees Celsius. It can be kept between 24 to 27. As in dropping, it's something I don't really do. Obviously, the temperature will drop to about 22 at night in my enclosures. And humidity wise, they do like this, like a bit higher, like 63%. So you can achieve this by spraying every other day. Remember, if that spray is not disappearing, then you you obviously spraying it the next day, I didn't mention this in my last video, is maybe you're going to be backing it up and there'll be too much moisture in there. So cross ventilation is important and getting the heat dry. Now, regarding cross ventilation, if you're buying like them acrylic tanks from Lee himself, they've got great ventilation. They, they like, they're obviously lasered and they've got like really big strips down the side. Fruit flies can't get out of them. So, you know, you're not going to have issues with that. They do little ones, medium ones, and then they go up to like the bigger one for when like the mantises are older. I'm keeping mine at the moment in a little 16 ounce deli cup that's got the like the bung on the side just for feeding flies. She will be moving up obviously to a 32 ounce, she gets bigger. It's got a complete mesh cut out there. And what I've actually done is just popped a load of holes in the actual side here, both sides for cross ventilation. Probably about 20 or 30 holes. It's probably a bit overkill, but you know, like I say, cross ventilation is important because the moisture is just going up and if there's any bacteria in there you want fresh air going in and then coming up and circulating so feeding wise um, you won't be using fruit flies when they are two to out three so at the moment i'm using fruit flies and i brought mine from advanced husbandry as you always do now there is like madagascar's i'm using heidi and it's just personally something to do. They still take them, obviously, when they're really little, you do want to be on Madagascar's. Um, but she has taken them, and I can't enough tell you about this company. Um, their fruit fly cultures are absolutely brilliant, advanced husbandry. I'll pop the links into them. They are on eBay as well. You can choose the maturity of it. So, you know, I've choose mature. You can actually get them when they're just in the first stages or like when they're in the maggot stage, as they say. And I will be doing a video on how to use your culture, what you've got now, and start up another culture so you don't have to keep paying the eight to ten pound as it costs, which is like a really, really good way of saving a bit of money if you've got a lot of mantises. I've also done videos on the fruit flies as well, on to how to put them into a tub so they don't get everywhere. And I don't know if any of you have seen that, but if you go back into my videos, it's feeding flies, putting system, and I do cover actually green bottles, blue bottles, and fruit flies. Was I tap them into another tub and just rub a bit of Vaseline prior to that entry of 32 ounce delicate so they can't climb up, it's like a barrier. In any case, I really hope you enjoyed the video. 
If you are, if you're feeling generous, give us a like, a share, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to keep up to date, click the notification sound down here. And also, folks, don't forget to follow me on TikTok. There's the link. Come on, get over there. And if you haven't, go on it. It's great fun. Some of the videos have me in stitches. In any case, peace out, folks. See you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.